Yes, leader, leader majority. Speaker, you have given guidelines, and I think uh, the guidelines must be followed. I'm sure you have told Honorable Manzo. If you read the guidelines, then movements is not allowed. So, Speaker, I am seeing so many empty seats. Yeah. And members have confirmed, and this is not good. But these members who confirmed should be known, and I think, uh, you, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'll ask your discretion uh, to allow other members who are somewhere and who really want to participate to take those seats. And I think in future, if you confirm that you want to, you want to be here, then uh, you must be here. I mean, you cannot uh, reserve a seat. Uh, it's only the only seat where you can reserve and you don't come is your home. This is the chamber. So, Mr. Speaker, I think uh, it's 30 minutes. It is 40 minutes now, and if they have not come, I think you need to uh, ask uh, members who are either at the launch or outside who want to participate in the debate to come in. Yeah. I want the Sergeant at Arms to just take note of uh, those who have not uh, come in the next uh, five minutes so that that decision can be made. The member whose hand is up, what, that is who now? Is that one of the Pukose? You're in a very... You know. no, I, I'm seated in a very... Fa very un, uh, unusual position. Honorable Speaker, my point of order is in terms of uh, putting on of the mask. When you see the majority leader is now pushing it back, and also the majority whip who is also pushing it back, the mask is supposed to cover both the nostrils and the mouth. It is not just for the, to cover the mouth alone. So I think proper putting on of the mask is very important for us to be able to control. It's not just for pleasure. It is for a serious business as we are in this house. And the way you've put it on, Mr. Speaker, is properly put. Thank you. <laughs> now, now there's somebody else who has raised their hand up. I thought you... No, I, I, I can see. I'm able to see the names from my screen. Is that the Honorable Nyamai? Yes. Also seated in a very unusual corner. Yes. Honorable Nyamai. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I, uh, my point of order is in relation to what the Honorable Duale has said, the leader of majority. As you can see, there are many positions that are no, not occupied. And it is a serious concern, Honorable Speaker, that it is important that members who are seated out here are given an opportunity to sit in these uh, uh, positions that are not taken. So I just uh, rose my hand. I'm sorry, it's because my card seems not to be working. But the reason is it is extremely important to have members in this house so that we can speak. Instead of having seats that are vacant by members of parliament who confirmed that they'll be in the House and they are not here. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Now, how, how is it now everybody wants to contribute to this, in, including the Honorable Junette? Mr. Speaker, I have an issue that I want to raise with you. Mr. Speaker, the guidelines that you issued were very clear. And I, it's what, some of the best guidelines I've ever read for the safety and security of this house and members of this house. Mr. Speaker, one of your guidelines was anybody above 58 years should not appear in the chamber. And I'm seeing here Honorable Kimonya. I am seeing here Honorable Bokose. These are octogenarians who should be at home, Mr. Speaker. We don't want to lose any member of parliament, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we love, we, another one is the MP from Meru, Honorable Kubai. Kubai retired from civil servants before we were born. And he's here, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, we love each other, Mr. Speaker. And I am doing it out of good faith and, and good heart, Mr. Speaker. I want us to be here after corona, Mr. Speaker. So when you are told you are above 58 or 60, you stay with your grandchildren. Don't uh, have evidence because date of birth is written in the website of members of parliament, Mr. Speaker. So Mr. Speaker, that guideline is not being followed. Mr. Speaker, will you allow these people to go back to their homes and stay with their grandchildren, Mr. Speaker, at this point in time? 
No, now all of members, uh, you know, you know, we need we needed to do business. We, we needed to do business. <laughs> Now you see the danger of mentioning somebody, Honorable Junette, is that uh, the, the, the Honorable, the Honorable Iringo wants to say something. Yes, yes, because you've been mentioned. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to bring to the attention of the Honorable Member, Mr. Speaker, even in your guidelines, Mr. Speaker, it was clearly said that may not must so you and you are encouraged but you are not stopped and i am here because i represent the uh, great people of Wigambe central and in my capacity and i know i'm early enough and i have no problem therefore if you have your problems that is your problem so angels are number there are those who are 25 or 13 and they are suffering and there are those who are 17 but they are walking tall so junet uh mr speaker I find that his allegations were uh, not in, in, out of place and malicious. And uh, let's go to business and let's not go to side issues. That's why we in this chamber and we sacrifice to come here to do the business so that we can go across, especially what the, 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 the business which the majority leaders already put on, on the floor. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Please, let's, I think, I think we, this one will deal with really, the, I'm sure that it may. The Honorable Iringo Goat is right. Now, this one, Honorable Members, I'm sure, you know, as you know, there has been reconfiguration of the chamber, and uh, with the masks, I'm not able to identify even some very familiar faces. So now, the member there. He's a member for. Who is this? Oh, the member for Suna West. Masara. Yes, one of them, Masara. Yes. Just hold on. You are also called Francis. Yes. Thank you, yes. Mr. Speaker, for calling me the right name. Mr. Speaker, my point of order is related to what the majority leader has just talked about, about social distancing. As much as we appreciate the precaution that the House leadership is taking to take care of the members, but I'm wondering why this one in the National Assembly is too much. Look at the, all of these rows. You don't get, it is, should be 1.5. Now, now I will, I'll, I'll force you to sit down. This has been done on strict advice by the public health personnel. They are, who have been here in very, even, in, even uh, try, trying to check on so many other issues. In fact, I may wish to just tell you in advance the advice is when we use the chamber for it to be disinfected, so we, and we are following that for the, for the benefit of members and their health. It is not because they are luxury. So Honorable Masara, I am sure you may wish to have somebody sitting next to you, you may be feeling cold. But uh, please, just bear with us. It is, not, it, is not, it is not out of fun. If you look, you can see, because there's, there's some element of social distancing, which is, some of which has to do with not direct, you know? So you can put somebody down here, but you'll be so close to Honorable Lodepe here. So, and you can see there's uh, quite some uh, distancing that has been done, strictly on the advice of Honorable Masara. Please, don't, don't, I'm sure you may be feeling cold, but I'm sure sooner than later you will be feeling warm. Yes, um, there was the issue of Honorable Debe. You still don't want us to do, to do business. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, mine is just a concern. Uh, we are wearing uh, different types of masks, and I wonder, Honorable Speaker, if all, them, all of them are being uh, approved by the medical fraternity, or we are just putting in. 
kindly if you can advise on the type of mask we should put on, the better. Thank you, Speaker. Now, now you see, you, you, you are assuming that I have, uh, I, I am an expert in that, in that field. <laughs> Honourable members, um, I may wish to make this announcement. The empty seats are seat number 60, which was booked by the Honourable Dhuku Kwea, member for Kinagop, I believe. The other one was a seat number 61, which was booked by the Honourable Leonard Yegon. And the other one is seat number 10, which was booked by the Honourable Didimas Wekesa Barasa Mutua, member for Kimilili. Now that the those three members are not in. I allow, no, they can, it's more than uh, 47, 44, almost 47 minutes since, since we started. I'll um, allow the sergeant at arms to allow three members. Three members. The first one to go to 60, seat number 60, where is that? Here. It's here. Seat number 60 is here. And those three members now are, they will be advised to, to stay in the other holding areas. Then there is uh, 61. Member for Nyali, seat number 60 here. That you are going, you are working very, very close to the Honorable Ondepe. <laughs> and the member who is making his way in without a member from Vita, you take which one? Number 10? But there are three seats there, there are two. Number 10, then another member to take the other one up there. But I can see some other empty seat there. Yes, yes. Yes, little major. That's the Honorable Rueda Obo, the member for Lamu County. You can, you, you can, you, some of them you know by their, their height. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable 